Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you everything about normal map. How you can use constant on them or texture samples. How you can add those texture samples to create something beautiful like this. And you may think that this is a, this has a 3D body but it doesn't have, we just use normal map to create this. And because all of this is happening in GPU, it won't affect your FPS or your, the speed of your game. It won't lag your game. It doesn't have a lot of vertices. It's just have four vertices okay and it has a lot of details and it will run at 1000 frame per second so for example you can see in here we have some lighting effect on our material in here but it doesn't have a lot of vertices it's just faking bump okay so without any further ado let's begin so for showing you what is the normal is let's just create another material by right clicking and select material i want to call it m for material and after that normal testing okay or whatever you want to call it double click on it to open it so in here first thing that i'm gonna do let's just go to palette and add a constant or add just a 3d vector in here okay and we want it just to be black connect it to base color if you don't know about base color metallic specular roughness and emissive color just watch my playlist of videos about materials and in there you will learn a lot now we just add a black color to our base color let's just double click on here and in here i want to change the color like this like this for example and hit ok it's just a color right now what i'm gonna show you is to go to content drawer i want to add a material that i just download from internet and in here i want i just drag and drop that normal map in here and it's called normal map okay this one this is a normal map and it always colors like this it always has color like this so whatever texture that the 3d designer gives you and that has these colors it means that it is, it, it is a normal map and if we go to content drawer you can see there are some texture in here and each one of them that has color like this it is a normal map and you can see always we put n at the end of it for normal map and you can see there is one in here there is one in here there is one in here and let's just use this one to show you some things okay now that we connect this color to our base color let's just add that normal map that we just download from internet this one okay before connecting connecting it to the normal go to plane mode in here to for you to see it clearly okay let's just zoom a little bit in here and let's just connect this to the normal and what it happens it will show us all of this shape and it fake 3d okay but it's not a 3d okay if we change the direction of light by holding alt and with left click change the direction of light you can see it has some shadow information for us and you can see there is shadow in here shadow in here and if we change the direction of the light and you can see now the shadow is in here okay it fakes 3d but it's not 3d let me show you it's just a flat plane okay and it's just faking 3d body okay and because this is running on gpu and in graphic cards it will be too fast it will be fast okay so it fakes bumpiness now that you know all about it let me in here you can see the image in left hand side you can see we did create some geometry that has a lot of vertices on them and in right hand side you can see we just did use a normal map and they give us both of them give us some shadowing information this one is better but it has a lot of vertices and it's at a lot of cases like when you are creating game for mobile you need to use normal maps a lot because in mobile you can't use high polygon 3d model you will use low polygon 3d model okay and you will use normal map to fake 3d so you can have all of this shadow information and your game won't slow down okay let me close this and in here what i'm gonna show you let's just delete this i want to show you another thing if you go to your textures on a starter content in here you can see we have a lot of them so let's just use this one for example this is a another normal map okay let's just connect it to our normal pin in here and you can see it's not a lot beautiful but let me show you some tricks with it okay i want to change the color to black again in here and i want to use this texture as well okay 
so if we cl double click on this texture you can see it has some red information it has some green information it has some blue information and in last video we did talk about this a lot so let's just use this green channel to have some roughness and metallic in our material so let's just go to our material and in here i want to use the green channel of this you can see the green channel the black is zero and white is one so if we connect the green channel to metallic okay and let me show you know that we connect the green channel to metallic wherever there is white area in here the metallic will be one and wherever the the color in here are black the metallic will be zero and this is exactly what is happening here you can see it clearly right and next i want to use this green channel on roughness as well so what it, what will happen wherever there is black in our green channel in this texture uh, it has zero for the roughness and wherever there is white in here it will put one for roughness in those area and you can see it clearly no these polygons in here no are metallic and the roughness of them are zero because in the green channel that we use in this polygon is all black so the roughness of this area will be zero okay so no you can see it clearly it if we hit L and with the left mouse button, we change the position of the light. You can see we have some lighting information in here, okay? So let me add some more details to this normal map, okay? Let's just copy and paste this texture sample and put it in here, for example, in here. And I want to use something that is called texture coordinate, okay? Texture coordinate. And with this texture coordinate, if we connect it to UV, we can tile this texture sample so let's just click on here and go here i did change it to two and two and you can see it's duplicated right so let me show you show it to you with another example for example this one okay if we connect this like here okay so again let's just connect this to normal map and i don't want to connect these so hold all and disconnect these and now you can see we have here if we connect the texture coordinate to here to uv of this texture sample and you can see the value is two and two and it will tile it like this no it is it is two to two you can see it here two to two so with that we can increase details in our material so let's just disable this or Control z to bring everything back to the defaults okay Control z again and let's just delete this texture sample again you can see there are a lot of details in here but i want to change this u tiling and v tiling to be more something like 10 in here okay so we have a lot of details in this normal map okay so now that we have we done that let's just disable this okay and right click and add a add node okay and with this add node we can add two normal texture together okay and with that we can show it in here right let me show you and you can see it looks beautiful right it looks beautiful you may think that it has some 3d body but it's a flat plane let me again hit l on my keyboard and with left click change the position of the light and you can see we have some lighting information in there as well let me zoom a little bit like this and no change and you can see when the light go to edges you can see it it's it's like using ray tracing right it's beautiful so with normal maps we, we can fake 3d without any vertices and it will be fast for your game i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye